Hey guys, Job here from Job and Josh's History of and Reviews. Today we are doing our first ever official cosplay of Character One in our first cosplay series, The Punisher. So, Punisher, who is he? What's his backstory? His name's Frank Castle. He was, uh, he's a veteran of war, came home after going to war, Iraq, wherever, depends on the comic, um, and his family was murdered, so he becomes like this vigilante, heroic, sort of both anti-hero and hero, and he starts to kill people, he goes on rampages, he's trying to do justice in ways that his other people don't agree with, but he kills, so this is a cosplay of Punisher or variants cosplays differ sometimes short jacket whatever, but what have you so First off we have the long rain trench coat. This is about $200 can be more expensive depending on where you got it This is from online so this is a trench coat real leather It's a jacket that goes all the way down past about midway to your shins so Here's the jacket, and in, fo in, 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 in a little bit, we're going to go into a little more detail about what this looks like, piece it together, we're going to take it off, show you. So Now we have next the Punisher t-shirt. This is his design. Again, these vary depending on the comic, depending on whatever, you know, these change. So this is the shirt. This was $7.50 from Walmart, and it's an all-black shirt, and inside later you're going to see there's rivets, sort of stripes on the bicep portion of the arm that covers your shoulder, so a back view so far. Side view, profile, and back to where we started. So here we have it. Now these pants right here are cargo pants, black cargo pants. And you can get these from Walmart. These are Levi's. Nice cargo pants. About $20, $19.70, but with tax it becomes $20, so, $21 actually, so. And there you go, these are 3232s, these fit me, so. And now boots. We have these leather and rubber infused boots. These are, I assume, can handle rain pretty well, as you can see they have a nice design on them. The weathered look for a more detailed cosplay, if you will. The bottom of the shoe of the feet. And there you go. Giving you some foot shots in the back. Okay, so with Punisher comes death, and with death comes ammo. And when ammo comes guns, you guessed it, guns. Right here we have an M4177 assault rifle. Um, this is an airsoft rifle. You can get this at Walmart or Dick's or um, what's that store called? Gander Mountain. This is actually where I I think I got it. Gander or Dick's. I'm not sure. And on here we have blood, um, cosplay blood to make it look like he was mad at his daughter and went <laughs> and this is what happened to the gun. This is a, when you pump it, you can give it a more cosplay feel and look if you, so yeah, uh, airsoft gun, did have a stock, but it broke off. So this, uh, you can do a pose with this, make it look like he's, you're the Punisher. Oh, and also detailed by the actual cosplay, not the weapons, slick back hair. I used uh, some water and earlier, way earlier in the day, a little bit of gel and it's been holding the entire day, so. Here is my hair, and also conveniently dyed black, which fits him. Not the cut, not the military cut, but slick back, close enough. So, we're gonna save the one of the coolest guns for last. Now we have a classic, an M1911. Notice all of these guns are black, full black, matte black, because, well, look at me, I'm black. No, not really. This is an M1911, um, about $20 for this. It's nice. It's all plastic, lightweight. The clip is here. Makes for a good cosplay. No one's going to know it's fake from a distance, so you can do some cool poses, maybe blow the camera into bits. It has a nice sheen to it and 
some of the sunlight, depending on how it hits. Has a nice refurbished grip on the handle. So next, we have if Punisher was having a bad day and the guy didn't give him his full size ice cream bar from the Dairy Queen, he pulls out of this and blows his head off. This is a uh, 357 Magnum. 357 Magnum is a big round. Again, these are all airsoft, not real. As you can see, the uh, paint's kind of chipping away, which gives it that weathered look like he's used it for years um, in the war. So yeah, and you can uh, pop this down. This was about 60-ish dollars. And there we have the Airsoft Magnum, which completes his look of being intimidating. Kapow. So all in all, let's recap a little. These boots, depending on the manufacturer, where you get them, they can go from anywhere to 30 to 100. So we'll, we'll say in the middle about 50, 60, 70. This $200, this about 90, 60 to 90, depending on where you go. This about $60 again. And this we have 20. Pants, 20. And we already covered the boots, so. And this, for a little bit of a bump up in price, $7.50, so. All in all, this is about a $400 cosplay, and as I promised, I'm going to show you in detail the actual cosplay portion of this review and history of Frank Castle. So this is the this is the jacket. Very nice. It's very heavy too. Very heavy duty. Made by W New York. That's a pretty good um, manufacturer. So here we have the jacket and now the shirt. There it is. This is a medium on me, kind of tight. So we have the logo, nothing on the back, but on my arms, as I said earlier in the bicep shoulder region, we have the two rivets that go around each arm, and if you don't like that, if you don't like those, all you have to do is just put the jacket on, put whatever you're wearing on. So again, all in all, let's recap. We have the jacket, the shirt, the pants, the boots, and three of the guns, which cost, yeah, about $300, $400. If you don't want to spend that much, maybe wear pleather to reduce the price, maybe get cheaper airsoft guns, maybe you don't have to get airsoft guns, just get something else, and it just differs for what you're doing. I hope you enjoyed this special History Oven Review first cosplay of the Punisher, Marvel's Punisher, and stay tuned for future cosplays and History Oven Reviews. If you like this video, like it, if you want to subscribe, good, but if you don't, I will find you, and I will kill you.